Yes, I'd like to welcome you back to another COVID weekly update. Oh yeah, it's been a while. I took some days off because, I mean, we got to be honest. What's going on with COVID? Uh, aren't you tired of hearing about it? Aren't you tired of talking about it? I mean, every day on my strolling and trolling, I was just COVID this. And then uh, January 6th, all I saw on the news was them talking about them storming the Capitol. And I'm like, nah. I mean, I'll let everybody take care of that. I'll let all the other podcast shows talk about that. Um, I just wasn't interested. I I felt it coming. I felt the... A loss of just inspiration because strolling and trolling is, is pretty much where I go and see news and talk about the news and give you the news. Uh, but yeah, I wasn't happy with what I was seeing. But COVID Weekly Update is something I do. I love doing. So uh, I'm going to get into it. I mean, but uh, if you've seen the news, if, you, if you're if you human, you've seen it. And of course, uh, Omicron, Omegatron is still doing its thing. It ain't going to change. Let me just be frank and just say no one. No one is safe from COVID anymore. The vaccinated are not safe. Despite what you might hear on the mainstream media about getting vaccinated, and they're kind of pulling away from it too. Uh, no one is safe. When I say no one is safe, I mean no one. Because I saw a story about Whoopi Goldberg. She's three times vaccinated. Don't know what that means. This is not a Golden Globe Award. But she says she's three times vaccinated. It means she's had to boost the shots or whatever, three times, whatever the case may be. And she still caught COVID. Well, because you can. Now, of course, I'm going to get into some... Um, some things that are just my ideas, things floating around in my big old head. I'm going to cast my opinion with my opinionated ass. I mean, but first off, let's just say no one is safe. I mean, this whole COVID-19, the SARS-CoV-2 variant, whatever, whatever. I, I think, and I've just been looking at this whole variant idea. And I pose this to you, to you this question to you, this to you. <laughs> I pose this to you. Uh, what if we're dealing with a variant? Because, of course, if you've checked out any of my COVID episodes, I covered the bat coronavirus a long time ago because there are papers written on it, scientific papers. This is not me assuming. It is there are scientific papers about the bat coronavirus. So you can go check that out. But what if we are dealing with a variant from that? I'm not a scientist. I'm just giving you my what if. What if we're dealing with the variant from the original bat cold virus? That means it could spawn more variants because that's what we're seeing. And of course there's scientific data that proves that variants are coming from treating or trying to get rid of COVID It's the treatment that this thing is just like, Nope, not going nowhere. Nope. You were wrong. Thanks for that. Super. It's like giving it a booster shot. It's like we're giving the virus a booster shot, trying to get rid of the virus because people are still contracting it. So it's like, okay, I got somebody vaccinated, get in a system. How am I going? How's it going to come back out? And I'm pretty sure there are scientists that are actually studying that because I saw this some dot dumbass scientists then found a way to let uh, Delta variant and uh, Omicron mix. See that right there? Somebody needs to go to jail. And I'm talking about global jail. I'm talking about war crimes jail. Because if you work in a lab and you allow something like that to happen, then it, it brings into question how did it all happen? Of course, we know it was blamed on China and, and Wuhan with the uh, with the lab and then with the uh, the livestock market out there. It was blamed everywhere. But this thing is proven to be literally everywhere. Uh, that when Omicron came from South Africa, he owned the Grill the Podcast show. I I questioned how is it going to travel, and it it took a flight. It took a flight everywhere. We still don't know. No one has said how it traveled. It had to travel from a person. Now, if you're going to say, "Well, that ain't how it got here," and and I've argued that over the microphone several times. Will you tell me how it got here? I would love for you to send me an email and tell me that Omicron just got here. Or it's always been here, which is why I said, what if our scientists, our brilliant people, CDC, the World Health Organization, are dealing with a variant of something? And I'm pretty sure they're already researching it, like they research everything, then finally they bring out the report. But if you're a report reader, you want the information, it's out there. But what if this is a variant? And, and the reason I say what if this is a variant, because... 
um, when um, this is scientific data, you can actually go read it yourself. Some cancer patients show different variants with genetic strains and different proteins and all that technical stuff, but they have seen this. The scientists have seen that the different branch offs and variants, and there's a whole list of variants. The only ones that they make public are the ones that seem to attack us and seem to be making uh, the patients, the patient zeros are the first people that have it sicker. But I'll go back to Omicron or Megatron. They had it in South Africa. How can it leave when you're treating the sick people? I don't know. That's just a question I ask. I have more questions to ask, but I ain't going to really get into it. But but here's the, is my whole synopsis and my breakdown of that. Maybe it's time for, for a different approach to the public access to this information. Because there are a lot of studies going on behind the scenes. But if this, if they believe, as I'm assuming, as I'm idealing, that this actual virus, COVID-19, is a is a variant of COVID uh, of past, or even of just the SARS-CoV-2 or the COVID bat coronavirus. If it is a variant, then that would explain the intelligence behind this virus, how it keeps changing and just just in getting into people and coming out of people because the omicron or megatron they say is like less symptoms whatever the case may be but everybody who's vaccinated that's getting it they're shocked that they got it it's like how can i get it i'm vaccinated and now they're saying well you never wasn't vaccinated against uh omicron or megatron you just vaccinated against COVID 19 so that right there is where i want you to start your thinking there has to be some type of genetic connection with the creation of variants. I'm not a smart guy, but that did sound smart as hell. So I think I'm gonna quit while I'm here. <laughs> but maybe, maybe uh, this, uh, they need to look at the real communicated issue, and we know it is the common cold. The common cold is communicated between people more than anything and of course i went over that on the COVID weekly update how the omicron or megatron it resembles the common cold the way it's transmitted colds are highly contagious if somebody sneezes on you and your immune system is compromised you could catch the flu you could die you could get bronchitis from a common cold so that's possible so now that's just my idea. Could we basically, and I'll sum it all up. I think, based off of all the science, the stuff that I have read, reading, going to the CDC website, find some other papers, I think it is possible. And yeah, it comes out. Yes, I know my mainstream strollers and trollers. I think I got some other strollers and trollers too um, that come and listen to the show. They're smarter than me. I, I think we need to deal with this, this COVID 19 as a variant of what it originally is or just deal with the common code whatever the case may be y'all smarter than me deal with that but that's just my idea i mean if it makes sense to you makes sense to me because all of these variants that come from one strain doesn't make sense it's it just doesn't make sense it's like they're trying to kill it but it's like nope you ain't got me this COVID 19 was supposed to be gone then delta came delta was dealt with and then something else came alpha beta or something that was dealt with and then uh, Omicron or Megatron and then I saw this stupid report talking about oh uh, some China some scientists in China said they found a connection well no it was similar to the uh, the the Omicron in rats why y'all put it in rats I mean at some point I, I get it y'all want to study y'all want to test it but we had a clear path to getting rid of this so however Omicron came about they're in China talking about it similar to rats when it's supposed to have originated in South Africa. So I'm going to move on. Uh, but yeah, so now, uh, of course, if you listen to the Grill the Podcast show and uh, you listen to the COVID, uh, any of my weekly, uh, some of my recent ones, I mentioned the word shortage would drive y'all crazy. And it did. But now I didn't expect that I would so be so uh, 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 so predictive in it that they would actually now. Here's what the shortage has done. There was supposed to have been a shortage of 500 million at home test kits that they were going to mail out to 500 million Americans. Uh, President Biden went on TV and you probably already know this, went on television and said we only had 200,000. We don't have enough. Now, I get that. That was a plan to mail out 500 million 
test kits. Now, when you, we, the people, heard there was a shortage of that, we lost our damn mind and start going to get tested. All these people who have have been anti-vaxxers, anti-maskers, anti-testers, don't believe in COVID. They took their dumb asses down there. I need to get tested because I don't feel good. You never felt good. And I want you to tell, I, I, I'm not even going to do the math. America is almost 70% vaccinated. You're not going to tell me that 100% of Americans went down there and got all those tests, went to these testing facilities, went to these testing sites and said, test me, test me. I think I'm sick. Test me. Test me. Hey, I'm over here. I need a test too. (laughs) I don't think that happened. Uh, And of course, you know, these things have expiration dates. I think our government and our healthcare uh, healthcare officials, they put it all together. We got enough to go around. We have enough to go around. The people who have been vaccinated have been tested. They're vaccinated. They they should be all right, even if they get it. But at this point right now, with this with the limited amount of tests, Americans, we the people have no choice but to get vaccinated. You see the beautiful use of that word shortage. Now there's an actual shortage. There's an actual shortage because you got your ass off the sofa and stopped watching Joe Rogan and all these people talking about, oh, you take this and you do this and I feel great and I feel better. You you got off the sofa. You stopped listening to that and you got scared because the word shortage makes you scared. Hey, man, ain't no more peanut butter. It's a shortage of peanut butter, son? Yes. Oh, I need to go to the grocery store and get a lot of peanut butter because y'all some peanut butter eating asses in this house. That's how it goes. You mentioned the word shortage and then we got we want to be we're gluttonous. We're a gluttonous society. We want to have more than enough. And can I get five of them test kits? Now nah, make it ten. How many you got back there? Let me get let me get that whole case. Yeah, yeah, run that whole case right there. So you got people that stockpile test kits so they can sell it to you on Amazon. I'm sorry to tell you, you people who are hoarding those test kits, they're gonna get you just like they got you for the mask, for the tissue, for everything else you tried to hoard at the beginning of this whole whole COVID campaign. You're going to jail because they don't like that. The government doesn't like that. People did it. You know it happened. You're going to jail. They are going to file charges against you once you think, I'm about to make some money off these test kits. Hey, at some point, they're going to tell you you had to be a medical facility to have a certain amount, and that's your ass. So I'm in that right there. But the whole thing with the test kits is their expiration. I don't know. I really, I'm not going to get into that. But I just, I just love how the government listened to me and started using the word shortage. And now everybody is alert. Everybody got their head on swivel. They're ready to get out there and get tested. But here's the thing. When the tests run out, like I said, all you're going to have to do is get vaccinated. That's it. They're going to say to you on television, our president, our illustrious president, uh, the historical presidential candidate will go on television and say, well, you have no choice now. You've got to get vaccinated. Americans need to get vaccinated. Go get vaccinated. Go get vaccinated. We're out of tests. You get vaccinated. Even if you get sick, you won't be as sick. You won't be. See, this is what's about to happen. All this left is vaccine. You see how smart they are? And we think we're smart. Those scientists, those people who need to work that those vaccines before they get to their expiration date, their word to use is shortage. And that is it. We have a shortage of tests, but we have a surplus of treatment means. Uh, the pill is coming out. They still have vaccines. So go ahead and get vaccinated. If you are not sick, don't do the, oh, I don't feel good, because they're going to test you before they give you the vaccine. But make sure you go to your doctor. Make sure you your doctor tells you which vaccine you have. You don't want to be running up there and you got high blood pressure from eating a whole lot of salty foods, even temporarily. I, w- I would just advise, let me just give some real advice. If you're planning on getting vaccinated, change your diet for a while. Adjust yourself, adjust your system. Because if you go up there and you got high blood pressure or you need to go to your doctor and you're getting vaccinated through your physician, you got high blood pressure, they got to change how they treat you. So be careful. But like I said, I'll just get back in it because I don't want to run it too long. Uh, the test kits are uh, running out, but the vaccine is there. So if you have any underlying health issues, get one of the shot. Get where well, there's only one you can get, but make sure you get vaccinated. But I'm I'm not even gonna mention the mask. I'm not gonna do that because you know what that is. So at the end of the day, 
a lot of people did listen to these celebrities and some of these celebrities have taken alternative means of treatment for COVID-19. Now, just as all of the, and, and there's data on this, you can go find it, you can read it. Uh, they have proven that some of the variants that are less uh, uh, known to the public, they actually are part of people who were, you know, getting treated for chemotherapy and even HIV AIDS and, and or any type of autoimmune deficiency. The, these variants was a downside of that. So these variants kind of smart. And this is there's data on this. You don't have to just listen to me. Go Google it. You can go find it. But at the end of the day, this Omicron variant. Uh, like I said, it's thought to come from a HIV positive person in South Africa. I read that. I do not sit there waiting on reporters to talk on video. If you're one of those people, uh, if you're one of those people that love to hear reporters talk on video, wait till my next episode on Open Talk. I'm going to tell you how they talked about teachers. But anyway, I'm going to stay on this. So um, you got the Omicron that supposed to had came from a person that they hadn't found that was HIV positive. This came from South Africa, run around South, South Africa, hadn't been treated for his HIV and he has contracted COVID uh, and now it turned into Omicron. That's patient zero, supposedly. Is it true? I don't know. Because at this point, what's true is there are no more tests. The tests are pretty much out. People have been around the line, which it, it kind of makes you wonder, where were these sick people when it was enough tests before the president said the word shortage, used the noun shortage? So, of course, now I'm closing out. I'm, I'm just going to say, again, uh, let's get back to the basic thing. Of course, I'm not going to get up preaching about masks, but do your hand sanitizer. Stop having COVID-ass conversations, okay? Listen to real information about covid Okay, and then one last thing, get rid of the cloth mask. If you wear a cloth mask, stop. They're telling you it's not going to work. And some people don't care. I mean, I, I'm not going to be rude at this point, but stop wearing a cloth mask. I mean, you have to. So if you see someone with a cloth mask, you can not talk to them because those droplets are actually seeping through. Uh, basically, you need multi-layer masks. I mean, so, but let me get to, we all got opinions about uh, COVID and, and, and things like that. But do not listen to people who speak their opinion as facts. The facts are found on the CDC.gov. The facts are found on the World Health Organization's website. It is not found out of your reporter's mouth. Even the CDC stood side by side with someone in the government. And now there's a fallout because... I suggested that you guys use a collective forum to talk about COVID. Everybody on one accord, not one or two people. So listen to me again. I say it again. I suggest that all of the medical officials, officials, Dr. Fauci and the, and the smart woman who got the Bob, the door, the Explorer haircut. I suggest that everyone get together on one accord, one town hall, social distance, and actually tell the American people one thing. Because if you don't, people are going to still be going for the alternative means and try to talk to whoever saying something alternative about treating COVID. Because if taking a dog dewormer creates a new variant, most of Americans, we're not going to be able to handle that because we don't even, I mean, it's for your dog. I mean, imagine if the variants are created by treating the strain of COVID or a strain of COVID. Imagine that. And if that there's data on that, too, so you really don't have to imagine it. But if those people who have chosen alternative means of treating COVID in themselves catch COVID or Omicron and create a new variant, we're done. I can honestly tell you we done. I could just look what Omicron is done. And it came from supposedly HIV, uh, HIV positive person who contracted COVID. So, uh, like I said, if, if you contract COVID or you're one of those unfortunate people who are dealing with COVID right now, don't consider yourself unlucky because you're still alive. Because a lot of people that had extreme underlying health issues that they didn't know about or maybe they treated or maybe their heart just couldn't help them out, couldn't pump that oxygen, oxygen that they needed, couldn't put enough, whatever the case may be, they're gone. So if you're surviving, if, if you woke up this morning and you're dealing with it, hey, don't don't consider yourself unlucky consider it's just another day all you need to do my only suggestion if you're one of those people that deal with that 
Of course, always put yourself in a position to retrace your activity and those you're around. Don't be irresponsible with those you love, your family, your children. Don't assume that they won't catch something that you contracted because you chose to go out and be a part of society and enjoy yourself. And this has been another COVID weekly update from the Grill the Podcast show. Hey, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And uh, welcome to the Grill the Podcast.